Hello everyone, my name is Adredden and we are back in 7 Days to Die. Today we're going to do a tutorial on where to find auger parts. Um, because it's kind of tricky sometimes. And yeah, it can take a long time. Um, you know, I went through my first playthrough and I don't think I got my first ones until like well after day 90. Um, so yeah, it can be a journey, but I'm going to try to help you find some uh, auger parts. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see what goes from there. The main reason I'm making this video is because I have a Let's Play video. I'm going to maybe provide a link for that up in the top. And um, basically, it's one of my most disliked videos. And I guess it's because people really want to know where auger parts are. So, boom, here we go. Let's figure out where the auger parts are in a non-Let's Play kind of way. Okay, guys, Lathan's Hardware is this one. And it is one of the places you can find some parts. Let's go inside and take a look. Okay, so due to the nature that I um, attempted to record this once and it uh, the recording didn't take, we've already busted into this building and uh, killed a bunch of zombies. Uh, things I recommend are bandages on your toolbar, because there was a dog here, and there was a dog there. And of course, sometimes the zombies can hit you and it's just, uh, you know, mean, nasty. All right, so if you're in this building, these will show up as uh, crates and then you just break them down with your axe. I took my Taza axe because I want to speed things up. And I searched through them and there was nothing. Nothing in this one, nothing in that one. Uh, you can go upstairs, but there's nothing that is worth your time in terms of an auger part. It's a medicine cabinet and a drawers and maybe a sink or something. Uh, usually a zombie or two. Yeah, this is also a good place to get workbenches. Lots of time they're just destroyed, so I wouldn't really worry about it. But usually two guys in here. Uh, of course, this working stiff box and this working stiff box. So, yeah, right. I left someone alive up there. So I didn't really care. So, um, so looking through the XML, I did discover that there is a chance that you can, when you search a vehicle, you'll get your uh, auger parts. Oh, well, there was a good one actually. The handlebars are one of the things you actually need to make a auger so um yeah but um i'm kind of also curious there might be some you know railies i'm not quite sure uh so i broke into this place uh as well but part of the thing about the auger right is you need to find the auger schematic and so i was searching up some of these and you know eventually you find one eventually uh, it's all i can say because it's random world gen stuff right so you just search and take and you know get what you can and yep that's pretty much how that works so back in this room there's a number of zombies there's uh yeah you know random zombies um there's i think a small small chance of getting them out of these boxes but you know don't worry about those ones uh these are probably all just the cardboard boxes yeah there's it's an extremely low chance so this isn't this back room is not really good for that kind of thing. Uh, let's just go upstairs real quick. I think this is just a normal box. Yeah, bookstore box, bookstore box. This is where you come to get your schematic. So, anyways, let's go to uh, the military base, I guess. All right, guys, this is one of the military bases you're looking for. So let's go in and check that tent right down there. All right, guys, so we uh, kind of go in through one of these gates um, and you just smash it until you get through. Uh, this base is filled with uh, military zombies and maybe some infected uh, zombies the ones that wear the biohazard suits, uh, as well as you know, nurses and other random zombies. But you're definitely going to find some military dudes in here, which are pretty tough usually. Um, it's pretty good. It's got a gun safe in there. Gun safes, I think, have a small chance of um, auger parts, but I wouldn't really worry about it. Um, this is the working stiffs one. It's underneath this little crate. That's kind of, or not crate, but tarp, uh, camo tarp, and nothing. Doesn't really surprise me. Uh, early on in the game, I mean, you have a pretty low level of finding this stuff, which is why I probably won't find one in here. Um, but that's all right uh you have other chances of finding them um they are included in like garage loot 
Um, it's been a long time since I've actually found auger parts in a garage. Uh, maybe the auger blade. Uh, I mean, we've all broken into one of these things, but basically it's got a couple zombies, but that one back there, that might have something. Uh, if you also don't know because you're new to the game, ah, uh, we broke, we woke them up. Uh, you can use your bow and just crouch and kill the sleepers that way. It might help you out a little bit. Um, the reason is when you do crouch damage, uh, it does a bunch more extra damage. So there you go. All right, those guys are done. Um, basically then we just break down this and you see what you get. Who knows what it would be. An oven. Never found auger parts in an oven. Okay, over to this city. It's got a couple of other interesting buildings that we can go check out. Okay, so this here is the crack -a book It's a good one. Um, you know, it's got a bunch of good stuff in it. Oh, these handlebars, by the way, um, if you look at the recipe for them, if you look at the recipe for the handlebars, you can see that you get uh, these iron pipes and stuff. A lot of these parts, uh, well, the iron pipes are around the world. These mechanical parts are in the, if you're looking for an auger, you're going to find mechanical parts because I got these out of the working stiff boxes. So you're going to find some of that kind of stuff, but the mechanical parts, we already have enough of them, right? Just from one box. Uh, duct tapes around the world, leather, couches. And yeah, you know, as you'll find those uh, good sources of pipes are those guys, fridges, stoves, mechanical parts come out of these things and other things. So, um, yeah, so I've already actually been to this building. Like I said, I tried to record this once. Uh, let's go to the fourth floor. Okay, so on this fourth floor, you got a bunch of uh, these kind of boxes up here. They're all over the place. And basically, you break them and you have a chance of finding something. Um, Bookstore ones obviously are going to be in the bookstore here, uh, but these empty construction site ones, they have a small chance of giving you some good stuff, like an auger part, but uh, it's not exactly common. So there's that. This whole thing is a giant maze, so you know, you have to keep working your way through it. Bunch of zombies in here, once again, a bunch of... Uh, crates to just break down and maybe you'll find something uh, of course you might also find the auger schematics in one of these places too and um, yeah it's, you know lots of lots of searching like I said like day 90 or something um, day, let's go to the next floor shall we okay this is another room on the fifth floor um, anyways, it's got tons of these boxes. Once again, you break them and you might get a construction site box or a motor box, I think. Boop -doo. Uh, we want to go to this building. I'll show you why in a sec. All right, guys, this is the Dishong Tower. It is got some possibilities of getting what you need. Um, some of the auger parts are possibly up 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 past this sort of restaurant level and these ones are kind of all under construction so you do find construction site boxes and other boxes in these floors so let's go take a look okay boxes in the penthouse gun store box which i'm sure you know i wouldn't pass up uh gun store box gun store box so yeah good stuff just gonna break through everything here and uh, yeah, this whole floor is definitely like destroyed. So, you know, take that as it is. You need to figure out your ways through this whole maze. Uh, I guess, yeah. Anyway, let's check out a different area. Okay, so yeah, these ones are, these buildings have taken some damage. We're not really sure from what. I mean, a ga natural gas explosion? Who knows? I, I don't really know. Uh, but you will find boxes like this, this working stiff crate box, and those are good ones, but sometimes they just don't have anything. So what you gonna do? Uh, basically just keep searching. Uh, over here, yeah, this whole side is destroyed too, but you know, you just keep wandering your way about working stiff box. Yeah, uh, this is probably gonna collapse. I can't forget which floor it is, but one of them, one of them collapses. Oh, there's your duct tape. So this one? 
I don't know. Uh, this guy, cardboard box. So yeah, lots of these kinds of boxes in this particular building. Um, let's go check out another floor. Okay, this is the next floor down. Once again, more working stiff crate boxes. Uh, you know, just keep on searching. Next floor down. Um, this is probably the first floor you're going to get onto. Um, still has lots of cardboard boxes on it. And I believe this is the one that has the room. Let's see here. It's always a big maze. Uh, I think you get into this floor or maybe it's maybe I'm one above where I think I'm at yeah generator yep let's just check the next floor down shall we oh here's a working stiff crate box so there's at least one pure one another anvil so you know this is a great building to uh, search up it's just um, you know, it's a long, hard battle. It'll take you probably two days to go through and get through it all, you know. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to keep searching. One of the, uh, this must be the second floor you would come up to from the bottom. Uh, once again, it's got lots of these boxes and you just have to break through them. And sometimes you get a construction site box, which is materials. Uh, because this area is basically a construction site, you have a higher probability, I think, of getting them, but... Uh, yeah, you still get crap, too, so... Uh, you can also... I'm not gonna go into the other two skyscrapers. Uh, Higashi, I wouldn't really say has too many of this kind of thing. You might find some good stuff in them. But, uh, I wouldn't really count on it. And the... Uh, working... Sort of the skyscraper that's under construction will also have a lot of uh, construction site boxes. Uh, always be careful at the top though, there's a landmine up at that last ladder, so watch out. Uh, previous floor, let's go check that. This floor has a lot of cardboard boxes from what I can recall, yep, I already searched a lot of them. So, and of course you get up, uh, let's see here, because it's designed as a dungeon you gotta go through it linearly. Uh, da, 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 da. You gotta go up through this hole in the floor, which is up from uh, this sort of lounge restaurant area, and you just climb up here and, you know, start your search. Um, anyway, let's go to another location because there's a lot of locations where you can find stuff. All right, guys, so there's also a number of these uh, passing gases around. They're gonna have sometimes stuff. I don't think this one actually does, it's just not the right kind. Um, there's lots of them that have uh, shelves up on the wall here and crates just sort of lying around. These ones have a couple crates back here. I think I've been to this one already, checking around. Yep, yeah, not this one. So, yeah, yeah, working stiff crate, there you go. So, you know, it can be worth searching. Uh, it's sort of, once again, hit or miss, but you know, if you see one, you, you may as well hit it up because if any chance, if you're looking for auger parts to find them would be good. I think in here is another good little, little room. Uh, well, let's go forge. I, and that one. There's also generally a secret down here, I think. Yeah, there you go. Some good stuff, but nothing that we want, so. Um, you never know what you're gonna find. Spare car parts. This could have some because it'll have automotive parts, so you never know when you're gonna find it. You also need a motor, right? So searching up these automotive things are really good for your auger if you need to find it. Um, basically any place you are gonna find the auger parts, you're also gonna find the auger blade. And I, I guess I'm, some people might be searching in the idea that they just want the parts for the auger, whereas Sometimes I say things and I mean the actual auger parts. Uh, one second. Okay, because like these are the auger parts in a way, but these are the specific auger parts that I sometimes reference. Just just gonna clear that up now. If we've gotten in this far and you're a little confused, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Just this auger parts, but I do sometimes, and other people do mean all of these parts. Let's go find um, something else. 
Alright guys, so in its entirely different city, we come to an enormous working stiff stool. Now this one, you can also find smaller ones that are kind of like the Poppin' Pills or the, gun, the Shotgun Messiah, other little ones. Uh, this one is the huge one. Um, I'm gonna go get rid of the zombies. Alright, zombies vanquished. So basically, you know, probability based once again, it's just the random world gen. Probability stuff. You may or may not find anything. Uh, break open stuff. Search it. Rinse and repeat. Um, but, you know, do search it because there is some good things around. Let's see if we can find anything. Ah, well, the tool and die. That's not usually something to laugh at. And then, of course, there's the back room. Uh, let's see. This is going to be a lot of points. Maybe 500 altogether. Um, sometimes it's easier to go through these walls, but because it's faster basically to hit the material versus the iron in the door, it is way quicker to go generally that way. So this takes a while, and yeah, it's actually a lot more it's hit points. So once again, there's a lot of boxes in, usually in the back rooms. Search them up. I mean, you'll eventually find something another wrench that's a good thing uh these repair kits keep your repair kits because i mean that you're going to repair your auger so that is a good one okay boom look at that there's two auger blades so let's get rid of all this crap well we found that one legit so those ones we didn't find but we can take these two here and uh you could combine them to get something higher um you probably won't get too much higher than the 68 if you just combine them because it'll probably just repair a little bit but you can repair them first uh let's see here what is the repair you do need the book for the auger to do that there's also a recipe with iron no sort of steel and repair kits yes and that will bring it up to a higher level based on i'm gonna i'm gonna guess tool smithing um it could be missed crafting but I don't think so I think it's tool smithing all right and two more boxes three more boxes in this room what do we got nothing all right let's um, go to another place and see what there is all right so here's another little pass and gas uh, I believe this is the kind I was thinking of earlier let me just break my way through here and it's gonna take me a couple minutes because I gotta repair this. Alright, broken into and zombies dealt with, so what do we have? Cardboard boxes, not really great. Um, and if you guys were just looking for a quick answer, whoa, don't destroy that. Uh, you know, maybe I can figure out a condensed version of this uh, at a later time, but this is a pretty condensed version from just doing a let's play on it like my previous video uh, I don't believe there's anything in here that would have it I don't think these generally do uh, with some good things you might find a schematic there sounds like there was a wandering horde check under the stairs this one has nothing oh nope it's got a backpack a purse eight dollars uh, and it's got a box. Let's take a look. Working stiffs, so that makes it possibly worth it. All right, well, let's find something else to uh, open up. Once again, you have the Joe's Brother construction. I didn't think we were actually going to get it that go into here, but let's take a look. So we start opening crates, and uh, I think these ones are just going to be random stuff. So you might get some good things. Um, let's kill some more zombies. Yeah, a couple more down here, but they're just sort of random. I think it's really some of the upper floors that have good stuff in them. But check out this entire work site, and you might be able to find some things. I'll just find one, and then we'll move on. Okay, so on the fourth floor here, there was a, con a crate that turned into a construction site box. Let's see here what these ones turn into. I mean, yeah, toilet. So that was just a random one. Uh, you just have to keep on working through them. All right, guys, if you do manage to make it all the way up here, uh, let's see here, we are not that cold, so ah, 
I mean, I already killed the zombies here, but just wanted to show you. Um, up here, there's at least one working stiff box. Be careful, that's a landmine, so don't just go running up here like a crazy person, but... Uh, that one there, and other than that, there might be something in those, you never know. Then you have this uh, little trap door, uh, and if you happen to jump down there, uh, you will fall through that floor. So get a block or something and kind of put them out to the side somewhere, somehow, uh, so that you're not directly on it, you don't fall through right off the bat. And yeah, I don't know, just like search a couple of these ones, yeah. Ooh, I'm not gonna fall through. Uh, bust through this sucker and take a look downstairs. You're gonna have some zombies to fight when you get through here. And you're gonna fall down. Uh, you could just uh, avoid everything and just fall through this trap. You'll break your leg, probably. But there you go. Anyways, there's four working stiff crates down here. Uh, phew. You just need to search, man. It can take forever. Um, let's see here. I'll see if I can find a pawn shop. All right, guys, here is Vic Garrison's Pawn and Loan. Let's see what we can find here. Okay, so um, I wouldn't say that this is an easy building to take. And there's a shortcut, actually, to uh, do this too. But um, in here, we've got, well, lots of stuff. And uh, basically, you just have to like break open these guys once again. And uh, just see what there is. Sometimes you get lucky, other times you don't. Unlocked? That's what I thought. Um, let's take a look to see if there's a specific crate in here. Okay, yeah, so we do get working stiff crates uh, in this one. Um, so there is, you know, a chance to find locker parts in this building too. Uh, it's not gonna be easy because yeah, they fall from the roof, and that sucks. It's, it takes a while to get this POI done. Uh, hmm. All right, so secrets time. Get yourself some wood frames, and you see those two broken blocks up there? Well, I don't know. However you want to get up there, uh, you can do it. Uh, I'm going to set up a type of nerd polling system here. But, if you want to spend a bunch of time breaking apart a wall, you can break it apart and get into here. Alright, blocks removed, we can go in. This is a nasty little corner to go in if you just go straight on in. This is not a very good, generally a good corner. I dealt with the zombies in my own you know, special way. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, let's just check out some of these crates. I mean, you know, once again, you're gonna get a bunch of kind of random stuff. I think these ones are a little bit more optimized for goodies because it's like, a, you know, you fought your way all the way through this maze. Um, but, oh, there's a nice little thing, a chainsaw. I'll read that up. We could get into that, but the chainsaw, if you're looking for chainsaw parts, oh, hi there. Thanks. So that's even just one. Um, I don't really want to fight one, even one of these guys. Uh, let me deal with him. Okay, that little guy's gone. Um, yeah, that um, bow is pretty good. Uh, that sink sucks. Whoa, that's some nice stuff early on in the game. Uh, of course, you, I actually I took one of these on day five. You know, it's, it's not undoable. It's just not entirely doable. Um, like I said, sometimes these will have goodies in them, but other times, you know, they won't, and it takes a long time to break through them, so yeah, you have to be careful. If you're in here, um, you have to look for these. So these tiles here, these are fine to walk on, but if you're just thinking, tra -la -la, I'm just gonna walk through this place, gotta watch out for these ones here. They break. So I think you can run across them, but uh, they're not, you know, designed for that. 
I don't know that there's much else up here. Yeah, there's not a whole lot up here. Um, let's take the elevator down. Oh, yeah, it just breaks. And, yeah, anyways. There's that. So that's how the zombies break and come down through the roof. So, yeah, I've been recording for, you know, just doing like a really quick walkthrough. Uh, probably two hours, uh, roughly. Um, that's with like hip hopping all over the place, not worrying about food, water, zombies at all. And I didn't find any auger parts. So, but that is how you find auger parts. Um, but it's random world generation, so you may not find them. So if you're mad that I didn't show you where the auger parts are, just you got to remember that it's going to take you possibly in-game months to find these things. Um, okay, also maybe take a look down in the comments. I uh, probably will get a bunch of comments about where to find auger parts, and if there's a place I don't really recall or didn't search, uh, I will try to put it in the description so that people know. Um, you know, and sometimes like even buildings like this will have crates that could include auger parts, but you just got to get lucky, right? Um, but I think those are the main sort of buildings I would search. Um, of course, you know, prioritize the hardware stores because they will get you most likely what you need. Um, yeah, that I think is pretty much that, guys. This building, despite the fact it looks fancy, I don't think it has anything in it. I searched one earlier. I didn't see anything. Um, but hit up all your garages. They might have some goodies. Hmm. Factories. Factories apparently have some working stiff boxes. And you never know what you might find. Nothing good in that one. Um, but basically, yeah, you just need to, once again, search. Oh, we have, uh, we have a garage storage one, and sometimes, you know, you might get lucky there, too. Let's go take another look. Actually, this is the top floor. Ah, uh, yeah, so anyways, search up these ones as well. I mean, yeah. If I need to, uh, after Alpha 17 kind of cools down, I'll make a even more succinct version, and if there's anything new that comes out there, we'll do that. One more place you guys can check is actually the trader. Um, now this works best when you're higher level and maybe I can force it to show you why. Open up. Okay. So first off, we'll just check. Hi, Mr. Gruff. Let's see what he has to say to us today. I'll sell you goods. But if you cross me, you'll meet the wrong end of my 44. So we look for auger. We had nothing. Uh, secret stash. Doesn't look like it's actually very big. Oops. Uh, auger. Nope. Nothing. Uh, so let me well, just show this other part. Your ass right out of my store. I'm not done, Joel. You just wait a second. Okay, guys. So for a better chance of finding something, I've given myself a whole bunch of experience points. So, what you're looking for is your secret stash, because this will change what's in his secret stash. The higher this is, the better. Level 3 is really good. Takes a while to get there because you have to get to barter 80, so you need to get this skill up a lot. To do you're that, you know, some of the best ways here, is to just, you? like, sell this guy things, and selling them, like, one at a time, in Alpha 16 anyway, gets you more and more stuff. See? Part of level 2. Gets you more XP per transaction, so you just sell stuff to him if you can, right? It's, it's a long, hard slog. It'll take you weeks of in-game time. Anyway, enough of that. I'm gonna just go over All right, now that we're done here. doing business, get out of my store. We're not done doing business. Just you chill out. Uh, I'm gonna buy a bunch of this up uh, up to level 80 because I have extra points because I did things that way. Okay, level 80 barter. This makes our 
you get a much better price for selling and buying things this way. Anyway, uh, boom, we go that way, and we now talk to him. Hey, you better not bring Shush. any diseases into my store. Anyways, he's got these things right now. Take a look, pause the video if you have to. We're gonna force an update. Well, how about you browse your ass right out of my store? Secret stash, level one. Oh, let me guess, you need to buy something. Uh, still no auger parts, but you can see there's a whole bunch of new things in here. So you force that update. Get we, the out of my store. It's for real customers. We do it again. And um, here we go. Uh, how about I empty your pockets? And once again, everything changes. I still don't see anything with them auger oh we have an auger blade now there you go so that's a good one uh we already got an auger blade and in here we don't have an auger so let's Here go to level three on. nothing new in that one this one is where you also start getting things like solar panels when you start getting into like level three secret stash you get some really good high-end stuff from it Sniper rifles, uh, yeah, really good picks and stuff, uh, but we still aren't that lucky. I mean, you might want to buy this if you have the cash, um, but yeah, I don't happen to see an, any auger parts. Not this time around. So what you got to do is you got to wait till day whatever. It says restock, day four. You're getting Come back on, nerves, on day four. Friend. Let's actually just do that. So I set the, the time to day five. I don't know. This should work. Well, if you got money, I guess I can stand your smell. Oh, well, thanks. And it does not look like we have anything. Day seven. On uh, day seven. You're not money in here, are you? Nothing. No auger. It, it's just this like brutal cycle of like searching and searching and searching, like I said. So that is pretty much that. Find a trader, make sure you hit them up when they restock. Get your secret stash up. And uh, search all those other locations. And be persistent. That's all I can tell you guys. Alright guys, if you're new to the channel and you do like what you see, hit the subscribe button, it definitely helps me grow. And if you did like the video, you can uh, like it and share it, that will definitely help out. Um, and please do, in the comments, let me know if there's other places to add to the description so that people know other places to search. Um, like I said, it takes a long time to figure this out, to find them. Uh, and uh, yeah, so hopefully if you're new to the game, this gave you a couple of ideas of where to look. And I guess I will just see you in the next video. Bye-bye.